Hi folks, thanks for tuning into this open source options tutorial. Today we're going to discuss, I'm going to show you how you can export a QGIS attribute table to an Excel document and we're going to do this in two different ways. So let's go ahead and get started and add in a shapefile. I'm going to go to my browser and here on my C drive I have the state population file here. Um, and this is going to show the United States and its territories. And I'm going to open the attribute table up here so you can see the data that I have there. So when I open up the attribute table, you'll see that I have a number of different columns here. On this far end, we have the population rank. As we come over to this way, we have the population change for a number of years. And then we have population estimates for a number of years. As you can see, there are a lot of data there. And these data are going to be hard to analyze in QGIS, but I could do a lot more with this in Excel. Um, and so I want to export this table to an Excel format. You'll notice if you scan the attribute table options and tools, there are not any tools here to actually export this file. Um, so I can't just save this table. But what I can do is I can save the entire shape file in Excel format. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. The way you do this is going to be the same way as if you're exporting selected features or anything else. We're going to just right click on the layer. We're going to come down to export and we're going to say save features as. Now you'll notice a lot of formats here. I already have the Excel format selected. But let's just go through and I'll show you what they are. So there are two formats we could use to open an Excel. The first is comma separated values, and I prefer to use comma separated values because it's also machine readable. So you can read CSV files with almost any, well, probably with any programming language, and there are quite common, quite a common way to store data. The other one, if we come down here, and this is going to be a little different than what you're used to, it doesn't say Microsoft Excel file. It says Microsoft MS Office Open XML Spreadsheet XLSX. And this is your traditional um, Excel spreadsheet. Okay, Let's, we're going to export this in both of these files so that you can see the differences just a little bit. So let's start with the comma separated values, the CSV. And I'm going to go select the file name, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into this temporary folder, and I'm going to call this States Info. It's saving as a CSV. I'm going to click Save. Okay. Now here I have the option to select which fields I want to export. If I don't want to save all the fields, I can uncheck some of these. Okay. I'm just going to select all of them for this example. Uh, I'm not going to add the save file to the map because I don't need it there. I want to open it in Excel. And we can just leave the defaults the same as they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and click OK. And we'll get a notice here that that has been successfully saved to this location. So I'm going to open up my file explorer, my folders, and you can see now I have the states info.csv. I'm first going to open this with Notepad++ so you can see what the data look like in a CSV. So we'll edit with Notepad++ and you can see that it's just a text file. We have the value for a specific field um, and it's separated by a comma. That's what it means, comma separated values. And if I scroll over here you can see we get um, we get into some of these number values, we get population change, okay, things like that, percent population change, okay, um, and so you can see that I have all, all the information here. Now let's go ahead and open this in Excel, and to do that you'll notice that I have the Excel icon here, I can just double click this file, the CSV file, and it opens in Excel. Now notice it gives me this warning that says possible data loss. If we use CSV format, we could lose some features. And that's true if we put equations and things in we, uh, and try to save it as CSV, we could lose some of our information. We can get around that. We could just go File. We can click Save As. We can change this um, to an Excel workbook. And then we can save this that way if you want to do that. Okay. But I'm going to show you now how to actually export it as an Excel file. All right. So Excel is closed. We're going to come back. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to right click here. We're going to go to export. We're going to say save features as. And we're going to come down and change this to XLSX. 
All right, and then I can change the file name, and I'm going to call this states info, but I don't want it to be CSV. I just want to leave a blank so that it appends the appropriate file extension on there, and I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to keep the defaults, and I'm not going to add it to the map, and I'm going to click OK. Now, real quick, I just want to mention that if you need an introduction to QGIS, you can check out on opensourceoptions.com my uh, QGIS for Beginners course, and I'll include a link to that in the description. When you sign up for that course, you're going to get access to the very data set I'm using here so that you can follow along with the exercises and get practice doing your own exercises with it. All right. That file saved, let's go check it out in the temp folder. So you can see we now have the states info.xlsx file here, and it is an Excel workbook file. So if I double click this, it will open up in Excel, and you can see that when it does open, we do not have that warning that says we might lose some data or some information. And so there we have all of our data brought into Excel from QGIS, and we can now make changes to it here. All right, folks, that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have questions about other things, about how to do other things in QGIS, please drop a comment, and I'll see if I can get to your suggestions. And also, like I said before, if you want to learn how to use QGIS and get started with it and have some data examples and learn how to download data, please go check out opensourceoptions.com and check out the QGIS, QGIS for Beginners course. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.